and welcome to yet another unscripted episode with Antara and Garima. And today, before I ask all those questions to my guest, I actually have a question for you. Has it ever happened with you where you wanted to visit your favorite restaurant where you generally order food from on your food delivery apps, only to realize that that restaurant actually doesn't exist? It's just on your phone. It's just on your food delivery app. You can't walk in there. You can't actually dine in there. Absolutely. Cloud kitchens, a concept that's actually growing here in Oman at a very fast speed. But have you ever come across that? Have you ever thought that what actually is the market like here in Oman or what are the challenges that they face? If you've ever planned to open up one for yourself as a business idea, what are the things required for it? We've got just the person to answer all those questions. Basically, he has somewhere close to 13 restaurants under this food tech company, Kitchenomics. Welcome to the show, Thank Ankush. You. To the show. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So happy to be here. Excited. Oh, we are very excited. And so is the entire team. Absolutely. Who is having a party behind the camera. Because you have walked in with so many boxes of those lovely brownies and the whole studio is actually smelling of those bakery ah. items that he's got from Shades of Yum, right? No, it's our pleasure. It's our pleasure. And uh, I hope all of you guys enjoy this. Yeah. Spreading joy with this. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Somewhere I get the feel that we'll be getting the edit of this episode three days prior. Before <laughs> and we'll be getting it. This is what food does, right? <laughs> exactly. Suddenly brings that smile. So the entire office is on next level and super happy. Yeah. They're high on sugar. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> well, Ankush, I know him ever since I moved to Oman. And uh, I'd actually yeah. like to share this with you that we actually connected over a very different uh, thing, which was Bollywood. Got it. Got it. <laughs> we all being Bollywood buffs. Oh, yes. yes. And we could just go on and on and on and on. And also, uh, his wife has actually yeah. lent her voice for one of those Bollywood songs as well. Yeah. But uh, yeah, we'll get on to that party scene later. My first question to you, Ankush, Please. is what happened there? Zook, Prive, you left all those yeah. dance floors. What, why did you trade those dance floors with these cloud kitchens and the concept of cloud kitchen? Honestly, I really miss it now since we're talking about it. It takes me back to, you know, good old days. But, uh, so I've been a restaurant all my life. Essentially, I've been a restaurant all my life. It's been about 25 years plus journey. And uh, if I look back, I think I've opened up more than 150 restaurants, uh, cafes, uh, theme parks, uh, cruise ships and back in India. Wow. Uh, yeah, so it's been a very, very long journey. And uh, yes, uh, when I moved out here, I bought up Zook, uh, Preve, the gastro lounge. And essentially, after opening up almost about over 100, 150 restaurants and, you know, uh, you know, cafes, etc., et uh, I always used to realize the challenge was that how do you scale this business, right? Mm -hmm. So restaurant business is a very high capital uh investment and scaling up a restaurant business model takes a lot of time right and a uh, lot of capital so that was always the challenge uh, the other biggest challenge was that you know every time or everybody opens up a restaurant there's you always have an idea in mind and you know you get excited about a concept and, and and i think majority of all of us want to open a restaurant you know Absolutely. it's such a good passion right yeah. so we always start up with okay we think okay that's a great idea you know I, I went to travel to some place and I saw this cool concept why not bring it to Muscat or wherever you're living right, right? right. and then you 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 end up uh, building a concept around it and you you create an entire back end uh, in terms of uh, building that uh, cuisine what you, you what you want to focus on uh, but if you really see this all these years till till pre-COVID, there was no data to back that right. is this restaurant model going to be successful or not? Right. Because there was nothing to really back. Mm. You know, we, we used to always imagine a concept, think we we'll, think that's going to work, mm. and and you 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 put in a, such a high capital investment into a restaurant. Yeah. And after, you know, like we said, ninety percent of the restaurants fail across mm. the globe. Mm. Ninety percent of the restaurants fail and close down within the first year of operations. Really? Right? Yes. And. Uh, and and it is because of various factors, but then again, there was no data to prove that. Right. So that's that's that was always a challenge. So every time you know I used to open up a new restaurant in all these years, uh, you know I always used to imagine is this going to work? Is it not going to work? Because it was not really a data driven decision. It was more mm. of a gut feel or mm. a 
or a, or a passion over taking the business model mm. to be very honest mm. right mm. Mm. uh so that was a thought that was a challenge which was in my mind always and uh, i didn't honestly have the answer but yes there was always a thought that how do you how do you you know you want to scale a model you want to create a model which you can take across geography right uh and uh, so that's that was all it and uh, while uh, you know uh, sadly the covid when it came in and you know obviously it brought in a lot of miseries and a lot of uh well, we all faced we all faced covid which is not a great time right mm, mm. but uh, i think uh, kitchenomics which is a food tech company which i founded along with uh, shrikant and aju uh, was actually out of that period you know so so that oh, is the time when baby. everything was shut and uh, you know my 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 prayway was shut down right. uh, we all were in tough situation i think right. every business was in a tough right. situation right. and that's when uh, you know I I shared the idea in fact uh, my founders who are uh, they used to be my customers like you you know they used to be my really? customers so Sheikh and then Aju used to yeah. be my uh, customers and uh, you know and uh, I always wanted to create uh, a model which could be scaled and 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 you always need the, that team you know you need that like minded people you need that people who believe in the idea and you know uh, so that's how it started so during covid time while we were not meeting much people but we within our groups yeah. we started mm-hmm. meeting yeah and you won't believe uh, i still have the table back at home uh, you know this this we are actually a round table like this where we used to sit and scribble down really it was actually factually we used to scribble down you know ideas on a piece of rough papers or a yeah. tissue kind of a this thing and that's yeah. that's how kitchenomics was born Wow! Uh, Do you have had? I still, I still have wow. that. I still even have that table, you know, because it's a very rundown kind of a table. When I moved houses, uh, I've still maintained. I've still kept that. You Aww. know, that's going to go into one of our offices at one point of time. <laughs> nice. Yeah. yeah so that's how Kitchenomics yeah. was one. Okay. So to answer your question, the passion has always been a restauranter, right? Right. But uh, I think the world has changed. The mm. world has drastically changed in every media you see. right and uh, uh, i think covid was the point which we, where we all stopped mm. and started relooking at reimagining mm. right. uh, you know businesses or life or you know even in health that right. way right right uh, so that's that's how the whole story started and uh, uh, we always wanted to create a model which can be scaled so today uh, our mission is that we want to create one of the largest chain of restaurants mm. without any dining space right so mm-hmm. what you call an internet again again there are various names yeah. uh, for cloud kitchen uh, you know cloud kitchens also known as ghost kitchens yeah. virtual internet restaurants so there are multiple different names right. and different uh, you know avenues and verticals around that space uh, but we we have a very clear uh, vision that we want to create one of the largest uh, food tech company uh or based out of oman uh, a true oman story <laughs> uh we are very 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 proud omani startup and uh, yes we want to take it global we want to take it global out of oman uh, <laughs> so that's 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 the thought and uh, that's how the journey started so we the finally we 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 founded the company uh, i think about yeah march 2022 post covid wow and it's about a two years journey and it's been a beautiful journey I today know, we employ 30 employ, restaurants already yeah, within so we, two years that's amazing we employ that's, almost that's close to 100 we um, employ almost 100 uh, team members wow. which is growing i think by end of this year we'll be almost about a team of uh, 180 to 190 people uh we currently own 13 mm-hmm. restaurant brands uh, which are available on talabat and other aggregator partners and uh, yeah we got a lot of love for <laughs> loving our brands so we so we, we if you yeah. had to explain the concept of cloud kitchens internet kitchen ghost kitchens however you want to put yeah, it yeah. in a simple way for our audience and listeners to understand it better how would sure. you put it so essentially in a very very basic simple lingo i think uh, uh, think of a cloud kitchen with uh, think of a, a restaurant but which does not have any dining space which Correct. does not have the front of the office mm-hmm. space it doesn't have service it doesn't have this thing so 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 cloud kitchen is essentially uh, a restaurant without any dining space which only focuses on delivery either directly or through uh aggregators and platforms uh, that's that's the basic concept right but also uh, just to add uh, essentially again it's just not a kitchen play huh. you know a lot of people think that oh cloud kitchen is just opening a kitchen and yeah. you know you you just put in kitchen equipment and you start cooking multi cuisine brands right uh so so if you really see the entire space you know it's 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 more of a tech play hmm. right uh kitchenom is a pure tech company hmm. driven with passion and 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 food happens to be there 
right okay which which obviously is our passion and that's how we 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 we, we create but essentially it's a very very tech Technology. driven company why how why right? do you say that uh that's what so to for example again let's go back to you know how do we earlier when we open a restaurant you had no data you just open a restaurant right. and that still continue to happen across right. the globe right, right? uh today the 13 restaurant brands which we've opened up they are based on the data and the tech available to us right uh today any of our brands which we launch right mm. uh, so so in the phase one we launched about four to five brands so every mm. every now and then in yeah, the last two years we've launched uh, two, about three, two, uh, 13 three. restaurant brands yeah. these all restaurant brands are based on the data available right so today uh, the data assists you in making decisions right so mm. today we create brands based on people's preferences right mm. uh, we we know what a consumer wants right it's it's one is because of the data which was available to us right. and the data which we are building right right so if you really see we are creating a a platform uh, an operating platform or a io platform what you can call like how you typically say on a smartphone kind mm. of thing <laughs> we are creating a platform which enables us to scale our business at a much higher speed right right uh, it's taken us about a year and a half two years to create this Right. you know so till now for the first year year and a half we were only building our back end you started hearing about us maybe in the last few months yeah. right today our back end is so strong or we are almost ready now this year going to so we are we are looking at launching about 20 kitchen platforms what in oman right wow uh, congratulations and yes so so that's exciting. that's exciting but that's only possible because of the platform on the back end what we created right uh, uh it's just not another opening of kitchen you know mm. uh, i'm sorry i feel bad but a lot of people are just opening kitchen yes. across the globe yeah. uh, they they take a kitchen space they open up no but there's a, there's a lot much which goes mm. into it you mm. know it's mm. like food leveraging tech absolutely absolutely that's, that's exactly what it is uh today for example you know people i'm sorry to say people are launching a sushi brand right mm-hmm. in a, in a location which probably doesn't even know what a sushi is mm. you mm. need to have that data available to understand that in this area what do consumer want what is their preferences what are the kind of spice level they want what is the price point they want at what day what they are going to order mm. and how much they want to order that's a lot so of how data. does your yeah. data sheet actually look like i mean like so, what so are the it's, main it's a, points that you a, consider so analytics obviously it's yeah. a, it's a startup yeah. we're still learning we're still mm. kind of uh, trying to analyze data we're still mm-hmm. learning on a day to day basis uh, and it's it's a learning but 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 if you really put together the entire thing it's 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 massive and it's going to sure. keep growing you know yeah. that's where the tech play happens so tech play happens on multiple uh, levels so mm. so what we've done at kitchenomics we've created a platform uh, which which is backed with a very very uh, solid uh, data and strong uh, platform which gives us analytics to even make decisions Mm. right mm. Uh, so this is not taken on a multiple basis right from the customer when you order when you when you click or uh, touch that button when the order goes in from that till the time the food is delivered to you the entire journey is captured by us wow right? do you also uh, see how many how many times a person is checking where the food is because people tend to do that the do people do yeah, people do that <laughs> people do that and also uh, so so that's that's where so currently like i said while we are a startup we are building that right mm. we're not 100% there it's a, it's a journey right mm. it's a journey mm. so we we've currently we 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 built a very very strong uh, uh, operating software which helps us even decide from the time you ordered till the time how much time did us we capture the journey so when you order uh, you order maybe to, right now how much time did it take us to deliver you uh-huh. and obviously delivery happens along with our platform we don't right. deliver directly mm, right, right now at this stage right. right how much time did it take in the kitchen for the food to cook mm. how much time was the food lying till the time driver could come in mm-hmm. and also we need to understand that this is just not not a, not, a, not a just another culinary you know thing where you go and cook food and sell it right mm-hmm. uh, delivery has been there from the day one right, right. but was, food was never created which was deliverable mm. Mm. you can pick up food or get food delivered from any of the restaurants the traditional restaurants right but the food was never created for delivery oh right yeah you know for example you say, for example <laughs> let's say a, a a piece of uh, let's say steak yeah right you try getting steak delivered or is this you have to have it you there. have to because you yeah. know it will it will become rubbery you yeah. know so you, it, it is not created so certain food cannot be delivered. delivered or or even if you want to create you have to work on the back end mm. 
that's how we build our brands yeah before we even launch a brand there's a lot of r&d which goes yeah. uh, the food has to be deliverable we will we will we will ensure the ingredients we use the packaging we use mm-hmm. and the processes we use mm. we will not do any food which is not deliverable mm. Hmm. So tell me something like you have uh, 13 restaurants already up in there. How long does it take for you to come to a conclusion that okay this model is working or this product is working or no we should just call it off? What is the uh, time yeah. period so that you it's, allow? So it's very interesting obviously uh, uh, you know the cloud kitchen space also has a lot of advantages from business model perspective because uh, I can by because of the platform that we've created and and which we're still building at a push of one button I can open or a killer brand right That's imagine scary for the brand, imagine just saying. no no it's not because you know imagine it's scary it's scary is when you have opened a physical restaurant with a beautiful mm. mediterranean interior hired that staff which comes with a mediterranean cuisine background the service standard mm. you cannot close that mm. you're married to that yeah, right brand. i Correct. could do that i can scale up a brand much faster by the time you will open up five restaurants physical restaurants right i would have opened 50 wow mm. right mm. that's what tech does that's what technology does and and also let's forget about technology also let's let's understand the dynamics have changed you know i remember when i came into this country or even back you know in india delivery was not there you know mm. there was many years back we had to literally tell the restaurant call him up and tell him hey buddy can you please, please keep this food bit. ready <laughs> i'll come and pick it up or you know literally beg the restaurant owner and yeah. say would you please come and deliver it yeah. you know if it's in a nice it mood or it's like yeah, yeah. right did now you, you ever, can't live without could it. you ever think today yeah. food is available on your phone just phones. a click away just a click away yeah. right yeah. uh so 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 the, so the dynamics have totally changed right right So yeah coming back to that how long do you actually take Yeah to so so for us obviously it's it's uh, in the first year year and a half it took mm-hmm. us a while because we were also okay. learning we were also building a team we were also building our uh, platforms in terms of the operating software mm-hmm. the, the 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 cuisine the recipes mm-hmm. and you know there's a right. lot which goes into that mm-hmm. uh, but yes uh, typically it takes us about anywhere between 1 to 20 days to launch a new brand 20 days that's yeah, about it yeah we will launch a new restaurant <laughs> yeah 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 but yes uh, but that that includes everything getting your yes. staff in place getting the whole so, thing so so that's what see see that's what the back end is we've already created a platform right we are already sitting on on a platform which has been created it's all about plugging in now the uh-huh. right right this thing and we are plugging in what the consumer wants hmm. not because today ankush bhatia felt like that we should have a punjabi brand or a mm-hmm. or a sushi brand or yeah, any brand yeah you're not going right? with your gut feeling right. you're going so you, with you, the you, data you, but that's that's how it that's the future of the food business yeah. right yes the experience part will still remain we will mm. still go out we will still go to our dining experiences and yeah. things like that but but i think that's not the space so we 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 are in a very very space where we we want to make sure we we are the comfort we are the comfort economy right we talk uh, about convenience this is all yeah so it's yeah. it's about convenience is about comfort it's also about affordability today i don't know i love to cook once in a while right uh, i've always realized whenever i cook at home or we cook at home at, at times i feel you know cooking at home is becoming more expensive than mm. ordering out <laughs> you know because you bring in certain ingredients yeah. it's not that you know at least you have a joint family and you know those uh, days yeah, we all are our taste preferences our expectations mm. have changed today mm. three of us in a house you'll want something else she'll want something else early yeah. we used to have one meal and we used to all share yeah. but today we have choice we all yeah. have a demand right? <laughs> we have a choice now this you just open talabad and then the phone goes across right Correct. okay order pick, whichever pick, pick. from wherever you want to order so everybody orders exactly. from a different brand absolutely or different. so the the cloud kitchen uh it's it's a it's a e-commerce it's a market marketplace yeah. so you have actually run proper proper restaurants and dining yeah, spaces yeah. as well and now you're doing cloud kitchens as yeah, well so I've been if we space. compare both and if you had to pick up two very big advantages of running a dining space over cloud kitchens and vice versa what would that see, be see uh uh so yeah that's what we're just sharing so so if you really look at a traditional great restaurant see restaurants is all about an experience right hmm. uh, restaurants physical restaurants uh they are an experience economy hmm. right they are an experience economy so if you really see when you go out you go out for the entire experience right, right? that experience is how the look feel is how the cutlery crockery is how the service was how the food was presented so that's experience that will always stay 
you know you'll like still want to go out you'll still want to go out you'll still want to enjoy we all enjoy going out right. i still enjoy going out despite owning 13 restaurant brands with multi cuisines offering right uh, so that experience will always remain so that's the advantage of a restaurant brick and mortar restaurant right right uh, but on the same time uh, you know from a cloud kitchen perspective the space what we are in uh, is much more scalable right mm. uh, decisions are taken more on data more on uh, you know facts mm. right mm. Uh, today yes uh, uh, if i had to traditionally open 13 brands which we've done in the last year and a half two years it would have taken me at least about half a decade right you know if i right. would have done yeah, it yeah. you know yeah, by I the know time you mean. open a location do that yeah. it takes you about six months to eight months to even just get the physical interiors done Correct. and stuff like that right Correct. uh we've done it in less than about a year and a half's time right i know so, by the year any so, is gonna yeah, have 20 yeah, <laughs> yeah yeah so that's that's what that's that's the that's the advantage right i'm able to scale up much faster the technology automation helps me mm -hmm. even if you see the back end which we've invested or created is based on all even the cooking method Right. Mm. So today, the, the the kind of automation we've done in our I back have end, seen that I'm kitchen. Sure we both seen, were right? there on right. the launch of Shades of Yum. Yeah. We were there at uh, OCC. Wow. And yeah, I remember you taking us through the entire kitchen. Yeah. He's like, Kamal yeah. Shrimp. Yeah. By the way, I just have this on my phone and I can operate that machine that you see there from my phone. Absolutely. Like, whoa. <laughs> absolutely. So imagine. So cool. Uh, yeah. No, absolutely. Imagine, uh, you know, one of the, the equipment which I was showing you, which is one of the most advanced uh, automation and, and again, tech uh, uh, internet based uh, ovens uh, could even think a kitchen equipment having internet so mm. today imagine when we are going live in the next uh, maybe another three months time when we're going live with the uh, riyadh right mm. i don't okay. need or my director culinary or my head chef does not need to be sitting in uh, necessarily every day to introduce a new cuisine sitting from here from his laptop he can enter a recipe which will be fed into the oven there so what? the, the cool yeah that's that's the technology so sitting there wow. he, the recipe is already entered from here sent across the internet the oven the smart oven accepts that so the guy who's there the chef in charge there all he has to do is follow a process right so that's how you Talk get the same yeah, yeah that's how you get the same dish the same experience what you had in Muscat and in Riyadh so could I be Amazing. a chef even though I have zero experience no. I just need to know what the ingredients are right you, you need to be able to follow absolutely you could be you know you could be yeah, but with, yeah with you have to follow training, we you have to follow you will yeah. have to follow okay talking about investments as you said it's it's as you said the concept is pretty much like think of a cloud kitchen as a restaurant but with no dining space yeah. and people often think that uh, that's a cheaper option. Is it, first of all? See, that's what, that's what I said, uh, you know, so, so everybody is thinking it's a very, very, uh, you know, it's, it's a no-brainer, it's a very easy mm. play, you yeah, know, you just not. take a kitchen, you open a kitchen, you put kitchen equipment, you launch a restaurant brand out of it and you scale it up. It's not, it's this, yes, there is, there is a, there is definitely the element of not investing in the front of the house so you don't have the dining space mm. and you don't have the mm. service staff yes absolutely you know so that 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 cost factor is there and also the the biggest advantage of uh, cloud kitchen is that i don't need to be really in a high street i don't need to be paying high rentals mm. you right know, so you because save up on those costs. You, you, yeah absolutely that's that's the entire model of course. and and uh, and i can scale up uh, or launch brands much faster mm. right uh, but uh, but it's not it's not there is still a large investment involved so again again it also depends on i guess what your roadmap looks like mm. right right mm. you could be happy doing just one one cloud kitchen one restaurant uh, or 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 someone like us where we have a larger global uh, vision or a dream that we mm. want to kind of you know grow to so so so, so to answer your questions yes the investments are uh, maybe they might not be in the dining but there is investment required in technology in in, in in team in in logistics so 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 if you really see that the entire the place is, is is much different than a traditional restaurants mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so ankush uh, talking about cloud kitchens talking about ghost kitchens uh, when you started off you said that you started off with like four to five brands but then on the way you also came up with another model and correct me if i'm wrong you actually promote and encourage all these yeah. home pronouns yeah. because i remember yeah. coming for the launch of shades yeah. of yum and yeah. just a couple of weeks back we had dina on our yeah. show who has also yeah. started one of her brands farsha with correct. you correct. so what is that category under kitchenomics yes what we are doing is we are, we are creating a hybrid uh, cloud kitchen model Right? Okay. So we, ours is a very hybrid kitchen, uh, cloud kitchen model. Uh, so we, we under the cloud kitchen, we have three verticals right now. Okay. One is that we are building 
होम ग्रोन स्ट्रॉन्ग ओमानी ब्रांड्स सो आर द थर्टीन ब्रांड्स वॉट यू सी मोस्ट ऑफ द ब्रांड्स आर होम ग्रोन वाओ देर ओमानी हंड्रेड परसेंट ओमानी ब्रांड्स सो वेदर इट्स आर ब्रांड यू नो तियामो विच इज़ आर इटालियन पास्ता ब्रांड शुआ शैक शुआ शैक फ्रंटियर जाओज यू नो these are brands which are home grown brands so currently one is a vertical where we are in the journey of creating multiple brands which are omani home grown brands in fact uh, uh, the, the 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 vision or the dream is to kind of create one of the largest uh, network of omani restaurants across, across. the gcc at wow. this stage right so that's that's one vertical so we create our own brands right right which is based on the data tech available and we build brands around right. that okay. then uh, uh, being in the industry for so many years uh, there there are a lot of budding uh, you know chefs who have brilliant talent uh, you know who been wanting to open up their own restaurants but they don't understand the business model or they don't have enough capital you know so so there's so many beautiful home chefs mm. right you know sitting mm. at home yeah. uh, uh you know who who are looking for an opportunity right but they are unable to do that because of either the capital limitation, uh, limitation or not understanding a lot of other about thing on board this mm. thing but they cook yeah right? yeah so that's something very very close to our heart and that's also our way of giving back to the society wherein we want to promote uh, home chefs nice. right bring them on our platform okay and give them an opportunity to launch their brands right uh, shades of yam is one of them so okay. so shilpa she 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 she's a, she's a fantastic baker i think you want oh, to try please, that oh please yes why am i insisting so much yeah, can somebody so, yeah. please just show me the box <laughs> and, and get it right here because i can see the entire team enjoying all those boxes behind the camera but we have nothing here on the table yeah, thank you. this is just yeah. probably one fourth part of all the boxes and the lovely stuff that he's got he's got those brownies oh. and and if you're this talking about nice yeah, yeah and if you're talking about shilpa Oh my God, she's really good at what she does. Yeah. I remember having her bread that. even is amazing. Yeah, yeah we, 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 uh, sardo. Oh my God, my uh, God sardo. These are cookies. some cookies. <laughs> <laughs> you keep talking, please. Keep talking. Keep talking. Yeah. So we will enjoy it. So, so 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 Shilpa, uh, she's been uh, baking uh, out of her home for. many years when we met her right and i think she makes the most yummy brownies oh, right and she obviously does. And obviously my other <laughs> thing and uh, so she always wanted to obviously i'm sure she somewhere had a dream of you know maybe opening a you know bakery brand at some point of time so that's what kitchenomics did did mm. you know kitchenomics uh, uh, brought her on uh, our platform mm. and we 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 helped her launch a brand so the shades of yum brand is powered by kitchenomics but it's owned okay. by shilpa so okay. it's a it's a home chef creating her own brand kind of story so, so what all did she uh, so she come came in and yeah. what did you add to so, it so 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 kitchenomics has purely powered it so we we we've, we've helped her manage the entire back end okay right? so 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 right from the investment to uh the talent uh, which is going to back her yeah, yeah. Uh, to the infrastructure to the logistic to the tech stack oh. uh to 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 be uh, available on aggregator is all is done by us so right. all wow. a home chef has to come they have to come in with their secret recipes right and create the magic in a commercial manner so that everybody can enjoy it so is there a criteria according to which you shortlist or you yeah approve? so we are very we are very very choosy because i'm sure uh, you know I think we all feel we we are we are, we are great cooks, uh, uh, and, and and some of them are. Uh, some of them are like me. We're still experimenting with food, but it's it's very very important to choose the right people who have uh, the fire to build a brand, right? Oh. Because it's just not about cooking. You know, you need to have that mindset to be able to grow a brand, right? Mm. So we we are looking for uh, we are we are we are inviting home chefs who want to make it large, who want to scale it up, who want to take it as a profession and not just mm. you know cook because because cooking at home versus commercially it's a two different game altogether right, right. so right. yes so right. we are always looking for talent we are always uh, happy uh, meeting in fact almost every week we meet up uh, some lovely people uh, in fact <laughs> to tomorrow i'm meeting work. another one yeah tomorrow i'm meeting someone else nice uh, so what uh, you do so, the tasting so, so also you do oh the god, oh my god oh my god the check god. also oh. and everything that's 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 why that's why we can never lose weight you so know what does it take to impress you <laughs> You know, honestly, it's 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 not about it's about I think uh, at the end of the day, it's about the it's about I think food is a is food itself is a language, right? Food itself is a I think uh, where we come from, food is love, 
right yeah. uh, so so you I live think, to eat yeah yeah <laughs> you know i think i think it's about one is first is about you know the the food the cuisine and it's it's, it's i think i don't know it's, it's it's a lot of other things right right you know like we all love, love our mother's food you know whether mm. good bad or whatever you know mm. everybody loves their mother's food course. because it's just it not food it's, it's a lot of emotion. other emotion. it's an emotion you know yeah. so it's, it's about it's it's similar so so whenever we meet up these uh, beautiful uh, you know uh, either professional chefs or home cooks it's a, it's actually about the passion it's about mm. passion of uh, the food and passion of building a brand mm. right i think that's key you'll find a lot of people who understand building brand but they don't understand uh, you know how to produce that so it's it's a mixed bag yeah. of a lot of things yeah. so it's that's what we look for or that's what we 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 want to kind of uh, keep uh, looking at it uh, recently uh, uh, you know there's a there's a lovely lady she's uh, she's an omani uh, lady who's been uh, making uh, you know every ramadan she makes these snack boxes mm, okay. and and she sends it to you know she sells it out of home right, right. Uh, so during this ramadan we we created a s- exclusive snack box in the evening for uh, breaking the fast Ishtar. which was uh, purely curated by her so there wow. were these shuba balls there were these uh, uh, you know these uh, samosas that uh, nice. samosas and all this lady must be about i think about senior citizen was about 60 plus right no way. Wow. and amazing this thing so we 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 and it was an emotional moment so it was you know when we when we when we invited her, obviously we had tasted her food and 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 that magic and that food mm-hmm. my, i don't think i can create my chefs might be the best have might have the best equipment might have the best tech yeah. but that that cuisine what the, the food the taste the flavor yeah. that that was something which was magical you yeah. know so we i still remember it was a very emotional moment when when she realized that with us she sold she sold on our platform uh more than what she would have sold in the last 5 years Whoa. in a month's time right wow and uh, and when she came to visit us you know right. and, and the kitchen facilities which you saw which is yeah. our kitchen we said oh it was for her it was my god you know I'm sure. it was like wow yeah you know because that that woman has never uh, uh, gone out of her home kitchen mm. right so it was she was, it was so exciting and in fact that was an experiment we did wow. now we're working very closely with her to launch a brand wow. on a regular basis what a fantastic story yeah. i know tell yeah. me when the launch and happens. trust me i i i i i when you when she starts cooking back again you must i'll send you some stuff yeah you can feel the the magic in her food because that's the, the emotion love. that's the yeah, energy yeah, that she's yeah. actually she's about i don't know i'm not sure i think it was she's 66 64 wow, wow. Uh, beautiful omani lady Uh, you know brace two beautiful boys nice and uh, so yeah so that's that's Good. that's where the connect was so yeah. yeah so that's so coming back to so we are creating our own brands yes. which are then home, you have own omani brands which are owned right. and uh, created by us then we are giving uh, we want to give a platform to a budding uh, home chefs right who want to passionately create a brand and come on our platform right uh, the third is something which we we want to kind of we want to build our hero brands right so these okay. are brands which are uh, well known brands uh, which are already existing we bring them on our platform which we we've started okay. focusing on now uh, dina i think you met oh, dina, yes. you know, dina <laughs> uh, actually all this while while you were talking about this uh, senior citizen her grandmom was only coming to my absolutely, head because absolutely. when she came here she, and she there, spoke yeah. about yeah, everything yeah, we all got yeah, so nostalgic with yeah, our uh, moms yeah. and grandmoms yeah yeah so dina dina of course uh, you guys have interacted with her she's yeah. she's a lovely uh, oh, girl yes. and uh, massively passionate about food right and yeah. and obviously she's a very well known food author yeah. food critic yeah. uh, she's recently launched her own yeah. uh, she's uh, the one who book. actually does a proper research before yeah. coming yeah. up with anything yeah. or yeah. you know making it available yeah. for the so others so our initiative uh, started over that so we wanted to kind of bring in well known um, uh, brands on our platform mm-hmm. uh, dina of course doesn't need a uh, introduction mm-hmm. but uh, uh so we 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 join hands together to create a brand which is an exclusive brand uh curated by dina uh-huh. and uh, that was an odd to oman so 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 the entire cuisine the entire this thing is uh, created uh, by dina which is so so if you really see you know the thought process and me when we met dina was that if you see across the globe you know you find all kinds of cuisine mm. everywhere you mm. know whether it's indian chinese 
Italian mm. but really see nobody's really taken the Oman food mm. on an international platform very true uh, so you so know partnership with Dina is to take Omani food to across the globe wow right so that's how Faisha was uh, curated wow. by Dina and uh, we're looking forward to scaling up so that's our third that vertical third where vertical. we want to bring in uh, well known uh, uh, brands, brands or celebrities mm. onto our platform and scale nice. them nice. so you will see uh, uh, you know in the coming few months you'll see a lot of uh, local and international brands, uh, okay. massive brands, mm. uh, which maybe uh, uh, you know have about five hundred thousand outlets, we bring them on our platform. Wow! Uh, so that's the space. So currently, just to recap, so in under our vertical, we are a hybrid model. So we are creating our own brands. Yes. We we give platform to budding talent to yes. come and uh, mm-hmm. launch the help them launch their brands. And third is uh, we bring in a well-known international brands or uh, celebrities like Dina's to on our platform and we help scale them in Oman and other regions wherever we grow. Right. So right. apart from food, of course, food is the most important. Yeah. It has to taste nice, quality, all of that. Apart from food, how does a brand on the platform become successful? Like how do you go about the back-end branding, promotion, marketing? How do you manage that? Because See, they don't again, have a physical again, space. So it's, a, it's a very different space than a traditional restaurant space where, you know, you go enjoy the experience, you enjoy the food and then you maybe go back uh, and then you read a uh, review kind of this thing, right? Uh, and, and, and honestly, I think uh, a cloud kitchen or a food tech or a cloud kitchen specifically is a is a, is a e-commerce, hmm. is a e-commerce model, right? So... It's uh, it's a purely e-commerce. So what we are also building is, or what the vision is, we are building a marketplace, right? Mm. Uh, so today, honestly, uh, the decision most of the customers we've done a we've done a tech survey. Sixty percent of the consumer, they know they want to eat biryani, right? Mm-hmm. But they're not really decided where will they go. They mm. might think of it. They will go on the aggregator. They will <laughs> see, mm-hmm. and and that's where the e-commerce works. You mm. know, that's where the search, it's typically like a search engine. So we, we have a great brand called Sultan Sobriyani. It's, mm. it's uh, one of our mm. most uh, popular brands, the top five popular brands. Yeah. Uh, uh, and it's becoming stronger day by day, right? Mm. Uh, so the moment you, 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 you already decided you want to have a biryani, but the moment you go into a platform, you know, so you, you see promotions happening. You see uh, 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 the positioning of Sultan of Biryani. Mm. You see great reviews. So if you really see, and if you really, I'll send you a link. If you see most of our 13 brands, mo- all of them are rated 4 plus. Wow. Right. Because of the reviews we mm. get, because yeah. of the tech uh, and the cuisine, you know. So we've we been loved by everybody. So that's where the decision happens. Right. A lot of things when we started or we believed or we thought will work or have not worked. Work so while Instagram is a great... You know, we all are talking about Instagram, but <laughs> right. really, it does not drive revenue. It helps to create brand awareness. It, but I guess yeah, so it's 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 our it's our it's our uh, it's our more of a personality which has been put across mm. for people to in, understand, wow. right? So it's 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 a product brochure. It does yeah. not drive revenue. Yeah. Right. Right. And we've Re- learned it. For recall, it's good. Yeah, we've but re- for revenue, yeah, 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 we, we, yeah. And we we've learned it very hard way. We've learned it very. We invested a lot on these platforms. Right. Yeah. But that's what. So over a year period of time. Now the data, because we were also a young yeah. company, and it's still a young company, the data has started telling us. Mm. You know, right. we, mm. we are able to make decisions based on, on the our tech that what should be the next step. And the consumer patterns. You know? yeah. So that's how we scale up a business. Okay. So yeah. how do you decide? Okay, I don't know if this can be answered in short or no, but I'll still go for it. When you come up with a brand, when you have to decide the portion size, when you have to decide the price point of it, when you have to do the tasting, what is the whole process like? Yeah. Because I remember me and Darshil only having a conversation when we ordered biryani from Frontier. Okay, the portion is like yeah. a good portion. Like yeah. four people can yeah. easily have that biryani, true, right? True. And it's priced Did you order really that for like, dinner? Uh, no, we actually ordered it for lunch and we ended on up having weekend? it for din- dinner. Uh, yes. Great. Yes. So, so that's that's again analytics, you know. So, so when we create brands, we, 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 you know, one is the brand is when we launch a brand, it's just not about going and cooking, right? Right. So we, we, we most of our brands are 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 fitted into different pockets, right? Okay. So, for example, we have a we we we, we know during the weekdays hmm. you guys are gonna sit in the office and maybe order something, right? Hmm. Hmm. So that's where a brand like a hunger bowl fits into it. Hmm. 
right so okay. that's a single serve brand, got it right so got you it. want to order rice you want to order but you don't want to share you just want to sit on your desk and order right yeah. so that's where hunger bowl fits in you know so that's where a, a brand like a, a slider fits in mm. you know that's kind of a single serve mm. kind of earth this thing yeah. right yeah. single yeah. friendly you individual portion yeah. right. so that's where we've created the brand so 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 we so you know our communication if you see mm. changes based on which day what day it is Oh. So on a weekday, you will see most of our communication driven towards the single day because that's where people are sitting in their offices. That's where people are ordering single yes. individual yes. Right. portions, yes. yeah. right? Small portions. The small moment portions. the weekend comes, that's when friends meet up, families oh, yes. meet up. Huh? That's when you start sharing. So that's where you will see a frontier. That's where you'll see a larger portion so of our, you know, Zaos. That's where you'll see the celebratory brands. Ah. Right. So that's how we classify our brands. Wow. So based on that is when we, how we build, we position our brand, even the pricing. Okay. Right? Okay. Uh, on, a, on a weekend, you don't mind splurging a little. Mm, mm, right? You mm. like to enjoy a, 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 a fine a experience of an Italian. Side. You like yeah. to enjoy an Italian experience or you like yeah. to enjoy our uh, Frontier or a Zao. So the yeah. entire experience, right? But, on a, but on, a, on a weekday, you want to kind of, yeah. you know, have a great meal but on the same time not splurge yeah, yeah right yeah. so so we our brands are built keeping all of these things in mind and that's mm. how we we grow brands yeah i remember ordering once from i think it was shades of yum only yeah. and it was an evening time and we ordered a, a nice sandwich for us okay because we wanted to step out somewhere and we said okay we'll eat something and then leave the next thing we know is that we get two big bags of <laughs> I know, I think you told me about yeah. it. Did you tell me uh, about yeah, it? There was I an offer I going on. I think yeah, you and we didn't realize that it was a buy one, get Correct. one. Yeah, so we Correct. didn't see that Correct. and we just ordered one sandwich. The next thing we know is that we've yeah. got two sandwiches and we wanted to order one croissant. With that, we got six more. And I, both of us are looking at each other. Are we really stepping out for dinner or are we staying back home and finishing all yeah. of this? Yeah. We ended up having that for breakfast as well. Yeah. But yeah, these guys, they actually have quite a few interesting yeah. offers as well, like yeah. buy one, get one. Absolutely. How do you manage your food like that? Like if there is like, like I said, it's an e-commerce platform. Yeah, so it's Don't, all data driven. That's what I'm saying. It's, it's all e-commerce platform. Uh, and thankfully, with the tech, the way it is going now, with the AI coming in, uh, the decisions are made much faster and mm. much more relevant, right? Yeah. Uh, so that's 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 how it is. How are you using that to your advantage? How much of it are you using? When so, like I said, uh, you know, so we built a very very interesting uh, kitchenomics tech stack, which helps us, uh, you know, right from procurement to uh, you know operating, uh, logistics, supply chain. Uh, managing of the front end this entire thing is integrated into a platform which is our kitchenomics mm, mm. Uh, you know uh, tech stack and that's that's how we, we do so now how as and when we grow and the learning which happen and obviously like I said it's still on a learning stage we're still a startup we've not reached there but yes we will one day so 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 that's how we, we keep collecting the data mm. so essentially if you see we are becoming a data warehouse Mm. Because that's the future that's the data. Future. That's where yeah. the game is. So tomorrow I will be able to kind of even tell you at some point of time in the future mm. that this is what Anna, she eats. This is when she orders. This is the kind of food she likes. Yeah. So tomorrow when she orders maybe three years, two years down the line, I will be able to customize an offering for her. Wow. And Anna for you so separately. special. Wow. Right? So, so we know that every time she orders, she does not like alabino on her yeah, yeah, slider or right, something. Yeah. So, so, so we know. Yeah. And those little things make a difference. Matter. Yeah, that's, that's special. That's f- and you're like, yeah, they understand yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. that's the future of food business. Yeah. Yes. A long way to go, but yes, that's the future. And that's where the tech and AI will help us. But uh, yes, obviously. But yeah, the heart will always remain of the cuisine, the food, yeah. the, the element we bring in. Uh, you come to our office any day you come or... You know, I, I started kind of nowadays becoming a this thing. So every time you come in, there's a new innovation happening. So we're wow. trying out new food. So even <laughs> the brands which we launch is not that they're the same brand. So you know, we, we keep introducing, changing new new this thing, because uh, that's that's what we do. So innovation is at heart for us at Kitchenomics. So through the mm-hmm. entire process, and this might be slightly more personal than business, what has been your biggest learning? Ah, man, uh, that's a tough one. You know, so every time you feel that you 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 think or you you know something, it, it, you always get uh, this proven wrong. You know, so, so there are a lot of times. Day. You know, you, so there are a lot mm-hmm. of times. There are a lot of brands which we launched based on this thing. Uh, you know, which we feel will do fantastically well, but they're not acceptable by you know uh, certain audience because 
so, so, so the learning is it's it's a continuous learning, you know. So I, it's it's never that you know you can pinpoint and say okay this is what uh, is going to be right because it's just it just changes, you know. Mm -hmm. It just changes, and that's what keeps you alive. You know, you need to keep moving around. So whatever worked three months back might not work today. Mm -hmm. You know, so so you think you've launched it a was. brand or a cuisine today, and it's gonna last you for the rest of your life? No. No. You so the learnings innovating. have been always every time you come out a new learning. You never stop learning, actually. You know, and it's yeah. a fact in life. Yeah. It's a fact. Should I should never believe. You, you know, and and uh, you know, uh, your belief system. Everything starts changing with the new experiences which come in. Yeah. You know, so when we launched, we didn't think we'd be sitting here. Uh, we 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 honestly, uh, you know, didn't. Well, uh, God has been great, you know, uh, uh, the, the investors who supported us, the stakeholders who invested us, the team who works with us, uh, friends like you, they all have come collectively together mm -hmm. to create. But when we started, did we think we'll be here? Yes, the vision was there, the dream was there. And in, a, and, and, and in two years, you know, I think it's it's been a great journey for us and we're looking forward. So, so you know, it keeps changing, your goalposts, your thought process, everything keeps changing. And you now know. you're expanding to Saudi. Yes, yes. we are very excited. <laughs> yeah. we, we are so very, very excited You've got to take me through that also. How, yeah. what, what is the model like? Are you taking so, so, the brands from yeah. here to Saudi? So, or? So the, the thought process was always that we want to create a, a Oman, a, you know, a Oman startup. You know, there are not many startups out of Oman which have really grown. Mm. Uh, yes, there are a few of them which have been very, very successful. But I think we need to produce more. Mm. Oman needs to produce more startups. Mm. So we want to make sure that we take our, uh, you Omani know, Oman brands. startup across the globe, right? So, so as, these are Omani brands that yeah, are going so, to. So our first initiative is that we want to take Kitchenomics to. Obviously, the vision is to take it across GCC mm -hmm. and then so on. Right. But uh, the, the, we, are, we are entering, uh, in fact, another three months' time, we sh you'll, you'll find all our brands which you enjoy here in Riyadh also. Wow. So we are entering Riyadh. The work has already started. Mm -hmm. Everything has started. We shortlisted uh, locations. And nice. uh, our tech team is already on ground. Our nice. uh, culinary team is on the ground there. Nice. Uh, so we, we the, the same brands what uh, we enjoy out here are going to be introduced in uh, Riyadh, Riyadh also. Uh, so we are very, very uh, excited about that. We, we want to take uh, uh, Shuba, Shuba Shack to, yeah. to Riyadh. We nice. want to take our uh, uh, Tiamo. We want to take our Frontier. All nice. of these homegrown brands to Riyadh. Uh, and, and, and create a create a proud moment for all of us here. Wow. And why yeah. specifically Riyadh? Why did you decide on starting? Uh, so Riyadh is a, is a beautiful economy. It's a very, very strong, growing economy. Uh, the population size is fantastic. You know, it's it's obviously uh, Riyadh itself is a massive. Uh, Riyadh is about I think if I'm not mistaken about seven to eight million population only in Riyadh. Mm -hmm. That's our entire country population right now. So it's mm -hmm. it's a very uh, and it's a very food uh, same like Oman, but it's a very very food centric market. So yes, so we want to kind of look at that market because we feel all our brands fit, fit in brilliantly with that food habit and that uh, space. Is it true that Oman is the fourth largest uh, yes. Uh, yes. in GCC or? Uh, yeah, in GCC, in GCC. So it's the fourth largest market for a concept like for Cloud a, Kitchens for in restaurants, GCC? For restaurants actually, for, for, restaurant. food, for the entire food space. Wow. Uh, we all in Oman, we all love eating we out. Love eating. We all love eating out. Yeah. We all love eating out. So yes, yeah. it's the fourth largest. Wow. It's the fourth largest and uh, and it's growing. It's yeah. growing. Yeah. Uh, you know, and, and I think it's a, it's a fantastic, uh, Oman is a great great uh, platform to start new brands it's a great uh, place to even in in terms of numbers you really see kitchenomics brands are growing we are growing about uh, uh, almost about 15 percent a month on month so it's, wow. it's it's a beautiful economy you know yeah. oman is a beautiful economy uh, to to start more and more ecosystem startups uh, bring in more you know uh, wow. brands Wow. So it's, wow. it's, it's, it's a fantastic. So where do you get the maximum orders from if I had to ask you that? Is it the Seab area, Bosher area, Ruby area? Which is your hot spot when it comes to... And you know, I'm yeah. uh, talking about an average, not yeah. a brand particularly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But which is like uh, so I think, the best uh, mark. I think... Uh, uh, you know, Gubra would be a great, great. I think Gubra is a good, oh. Gubra, Bosher. Right. Uh, these are, I think, two busy quite uh, busy. But uh, now we're also expanding into Alkhod. We're, in fact, uh, opening in Alkhod in another month's time. We're right. opening our first wow. kitchen platform in Alkhod. I think we're very excited and I, we are, I think that looks very promising. Nice. That looks very promising. Uh, so, yeah. So, so again, what has happened? Because if you really see Muscat or Oman is also spreading out, right? Mm. Earlier, yes. it used to be yeah. only, uh, you know, in, in one particular pocket. 
everybody used to live yeah. now you really see muscat is also spread out a, a much much you know yeah. far off so i think uh, 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 as of now yes if you really ask me from a current data gosher uh, gobra these are the areas where we are getting our maximum benefit and in terms of food choices which one do you think uh, I mean, you uh, got to choose yeah. one. No, 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 no. <laughs> like it has I can to be either you, a biryani or an Italian. I think, or uh, I think uh, obviously, uh, <laughs> it's, it's it's beautiful, you know. So I think the biggest uh, uh, consumption in our country happens is for biryani, for yeah. rice, right? Yeah, I'm not so surprised. So our Sultan's of biryani, our yeah. Shua Shaik, our Frontier, yeah. uh, and then that that data is very very clear. Rice is always <laughs> on top. Rice is always in top. So essentially, I think uh, it's very clear. I think rice or biryani, biryani is absolutely our national dish. <laughs> I think we all love it in every yeah. every uh, part of the region. Uh, and it's uh, healthy also no no gluten absolutely <laughs> and yeah so biryani is definitely a national uh, dish so that's where so if you really see our uh, you know data i think that's one of the most selling item across all our brands whether it's uh, shua shag whether it's frontier whether it's sultan's of biryani are there any uh, more the new ones qualify uh, what is that oh my god <laughs> that's such a bad that's question yeah 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 Like, uh, now I'm talking offense. Please, See, if you so, can edit so, this part, yeah. edit and edit no, no, the mantra no, no. asked for part of it. I must tell you. I must tell you. Just Don't for even I call it. No, but just for information. So biryani is always at meat. The uh, there's nothing called veg. It's pulao. It's pulao. <laughs> I knew this is yeah. going. Yeah. But but and vegetarians but. do eat biryani. Yeah, yeah but it's not a biryani. It's a pulao. It's a pulao. Which is veg biryani? It's a pulao. No, I love. So you really have to we try. We make soya too. No, I honestly, I I suggest you try. Uh, I'll send you guys. Okay. Try the frontier pulao. Uh, biryani. Uh, pulao. We call it biryani. Pulao. You still call no, it no, biryani? No, it's a pulao. It's a veg <laughs> and biryani. Oh, it's yummy. You know, it's the one that you make with paneer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've tried it. We've tried it. It's really nice. Yeah, it's yummy. It's really nice. It's yummy. It's yummy. But it's not a biryani. And the best part is that you know, generally when you order these biryanis, you see a lot of This oil and but spices, but this one's biryani. really yeah. nice. Huh? Yeah. Sorry? But on the menu, it's called veg biryani only, right? You know, honestly, I'll tell you. If you genuinely, <laughs> if you see our, I'm not joking. It's a very serious <laughs> conversation in our office, okay. which happens if you really see the what we are, we're off, right? Uh, or we are no, rolling. No, no, okay, no, we're rolling. No, so no, if you really no, see, no, <laughs> so if you really see, if you really see, if we really sell 200 items or uh, of a particular brand or let's say whatever, 200 items we sell. Out of 200, 196 would be non-veg. Uh -huh, of course. No, I'm not joking. People don't not even dal. It's a very very meat economy. Yeah. Which I'm very happy about. Yeah, yeah, of course. Okay. But talking about rice and yeah. talking about your you you finally you said it that if it's a national dish, so then it has to be made out of rice. I think it's right? it's it's a comfort dish for everybody. Yeah. All of us love a biryani yes. and a good rice. Whether it's a it's a it's a chicken dum biryani or whether it's a shua biryani, uh, I think we do one of the best shua biryanis uh, in our brands. And in fact, this year we're superbly excited. We are actually looking at creating a first national Omani national brand. Out of uh, curated for rice or biryani, uh, with 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 the uh, Omani recipes and everything, and and we are hoping to launch it in about another three months time, and we're looking nice. at launching at least about twenty of these uh, kitchen platforms across. Wow! wow. By next year, wow. we're looking at about close to about okay, so because we we we've done the numbers right, so right. we're looking at about opening about close to about. 60 of these kitchens from uh, till the next year in in Oman ah, itself purely 60. focusing so imagine we want to create a national omani brand and take it across the region that's the kind of brand omani brand we want to launch which yeah. will take it up Lovely. and uh, we are we are really and in already fact, on the right way. now in fact food trials have already started so i'll invite you guys <laughs> make sure already, it's pulao <laughs> yeah, yeah 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 we'll need the veg we'll oh my god sorry wrong audience <laughs> Suddenly we reminded about that. No, we'll we'll have some paneer tikka biryani okay, for you guys. Okay, but okay. Also, one more thing. Most of the times, what happens is that when you keep adding so many brands, uh, the quality of the previous ones, you know, it's not not everyone maintains that. So yeah. how do you do that? Like see, having see, this still having the same quality because at the end of it, you operating from correct, the same kitchen. Correct. It's the same stuff. It's the same. No, I mean, no. I do understand so, that. Okay, you keep so, adding so, new people. So what happens is essentially, if you really see in our journey, we've launched fourteen brands. So, so every brand takes a little while to kind of, you know, pick uh, up and uh, get to stable. reach to to stabilize to that level. Yeah. Uh, now, again, this is again helped with in terms of uh, automation, the tech, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so the moment we we decide to launch, let's say a certain cuisine, forget about brand. Let's say we okay. will decide to launch. Uh, Uh, a shua biryani or a shua roll, mm. right? 
the moment we decide the R and D is done and all the recipe is documented. Okay. The moment the recipe is documented, the recipe is just not a, just a recipe. Mm. There is also in the recipe we we have a, we have all the data. Again, this is all deck. This is all in our platform. Mm. Right. This is all in our operating platform. Mm. So the recipe is already fed into the platform. Mm. Now the recipe is just not saying ki, okay, put this much of oil and at this stage you put this rice and you put uh, meat at this stage. It also kind of specifies the 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 grade of the meat you are using or the brand of the meat you are using. So oh, that's what. So if you come to detailed. my office, I'll show you the platform. You know our operating platform. Uh, so it specifies so that is the way we can consistently give the same experience if we really right. see food changes or taste changes because of two reasons one is that either the talent or the, the, the chef has yeah. changed yeah. Yeah. or, or the, the ingredient has changed ah. right right Right. Correct. So in, in our case, uh, talent is something obviously because we've been lucky to have a great team and we 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 are a very uh, you know uh, HR driven company you know so people come first to us uh, from a genuine this thing so that's something while we are building talent we are also ensuring that if tomorrow the talent changes for whatever reasons you know uh, or, or one talent moves from one like we are going to Riyadh so for Riyadh we are promoting almost about 20-25 people from our existing team and promoting them and moving them mm. to the next level mm. to you know mm. he, uh, mm. grow to the, the, the bigger story or, or to enter Riyadh so so, 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 so so when everything is you know documented you know the product does not change at least at least 99% of the time. Mm, mm, mm. Yes, there will be that one margin of, mm. we're also learning. Yeah. We're also kind of, we're also uh, 1% or I'll say even 2% margin does because there are times where you don't get the same product. Mm. You know, sometimes, uh, you know, so, so let's say if you're buying a particular kind of uh, tomato, right, and, 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 you know, the season changes or the flavor changes because we're also still importing a lot of products. Mm. Right. Mm. Right. Mm. Uh, we we trying to we, we uh, at at Kitchenomics, uh, as much as possible. We we we, we buy local, mm. you know, and and that's been our success. You wow. know, so we 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 were actually uh, uh, kind of interestingly we tied up with few farms which are Omani farms which actually delivered directly to us. Wow. You know you, the milk which we get. In fact, you know, so so we actually get fresh milk from the farm. Wow. And every day, sorry, every alternative day, we actually get it. Wow. And and, and, and so, it does so, reflect in the taste as oh well. Oh my goodness. Yeah, no, it I'm makes not a lot of difference. So you, yeah. you try our uh, this thing. So so we, we're trying to go as much as local possible. But then again, there is seasonal. Mm. Right. You know? right. Right. So, so, so that challenge slightly will always remain. But mm. I'll say 98% the food will right. remain consistent. Because we, we, we've kind of created our entire back end. Mm. So that when we're saying tech, tech is just not... On just the, the phone or on the platform yeah. or ordering. Tech is also played in the kitchen. Mm. Right. So your quality is is consistent, all of that. What about we try to <laughs> to the best of our ability. Yes. What about food wastage? How do you manage okay, that? Okay, so that's you? that's 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 interesting. So the space we are we are in a you know so so we are in a space which is a purely a delivery focused company. Mm. Uh, for us, uh, the, our food wastage is almost as point two or point three wow, uh, because good, good. we we not in our end we want to kind of educate people also on food wastage, mm -hmm. right? So while we are trying to control, because as is a delivery, we know what portion size is going, what is, yeah. should be the mm -hmm. uh, production done, what mm -hmm. should not be the production done, and all our food is cooked fresh. Mm -hmm. So we our wastage is hardly any 0.2, 0.3%, right? Yeah. Uh, but, but there's a lot of wastage which we are still seeing in the customer's front. Mm -hmm. At some point in time, we want to start educating people for that also. And also we want to kind of create more different sizes of portions right right so 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 let's say if you want to like you you give an example of, of a sandwich or yeah. a, this thing just two of us you should be able to know that this yeah. you know so we are also yeah. working towards That's educating nice. and mm. building our you know uh, menu engineering is being done mm. but yes food wastage and more than food wastage i think the most important uh, subject uh, which we we really want to work on or we are already working on is uh, the packaging Mm -hmm. I think you actually pay a lot yeah, of attention yeah. to the packaging, packaging is as well. Very, we, we want to, we, we've actually uh, consciously from the day one, we've tried to stay away from plastic, mm. right? So if you really see all yes. our packaging is recycled paper, mm. right? Mm. Uh, we we are using certain amount of little bit of plastic in advance, spoons and things like that. But we want to slowly, slowly move away from mm. that also. So Absolutely. I think the main... Uh, main thing for us as a company we want to focus absolutely on 
packaging because that's 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 yeah, what is that's the delivery that's thing and the that's why you set the tone system. and also yeah. the environment you yeah. know at yeah. the end of the day i think we're all here to run our uh, you know uh, businesses and uh, this thing but at the end of the day we also want to create a you know platform where where there's not something which is going back to the ecosystem in a negative manner yeah. right yeah. so 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 that's something which is very close to our heart and, and as long as you're conscious are, about it and you make it absolutely yeah. at, at every every point we are looking at how do we minimize that yeah it's not 100% but we're trying to work on that so mm. the, i think mm-hmm. uh, you're absolutely right the food wastage and uh, uh, the the packaging and the, is, is is something which we are very very closely monitoring and at that i'm sure another year's time will be 100% environmental Uh, safe friendly. in terms of environment friendly in terms of you know mm. sorry not safe yeah in terms of uh, that yeah. because that's that's really hurts all of us yeah yeah i'm so glad they're passionate no yeah. it's honestly <laughs> it's it's a fact it's not just for uh, because that really when we see that wastage which is happening and and if you really see about a few years back and still there are a lot of restaurants uh, were using of course plastic is cheap but somewhere you have to take a call between profitability and correct you know what do you want to build for the future correct yeah. correct correct uh, how do you handle all these complaints uh, because i'm sure that you must be getting yes. those as well yes. yeah so what is the process of that like uh, how so we how do you go about so we that? like as part of our uh, tech platform we we've, we've created a uh, you know we've created a very very strong process so the moment there's a complaint which is lodged right okay. it could be either through on a aggregator platform right. so that's where the first uh, feedback we get mm-hmm. yeah. or if we have a connect with a consumer because we so that in our model so one is obviously uh, we we deliver food through our platform to our mm-hmm. uh, delivery partners mm-hmm. but there is a lot of uh, consumption which also happens mm-hmm. where people come and pick up food from our mm-hmm. right. outlets right, right? like uh zakir mall where we have go kicks uh, right. space so a lot of people come and so 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 wherever we have connect the moment we get a feedback uh, is is one is that we i still believe in old school uh, so the moment uh, we we have a feedback which is negative or needs some kind of improvement we immediately ensure that we send out again uh similar portion and mm-hmm. for them to try after improvising this thing okay uh, but obviously we also Uh, it's a it's a very difficult space you mm. know because people's preferences taste preferences change so your mm. your uh, biryani versus her biryani will be two different very taste preference yeah, right very so while she was like while <laughs> she, you might have expected this taste but that yeah. that cuisine was actually from a different yeah. region altogether so that's also where sometimes we get uh, mm. complaints uh, mm. so 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 there's, there's it's 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 about it's educating right. the consumer and and also kind of you know making sure that uh, we we take their feedback and if there's a genuine feedback we we work go back do you get positive feedbacks as well oh, lots lots they actually write back to you say in fact uh, the, if you go on talabat uh, you'll see a lot of uh, compliments uh, nice. which we keep in fact uh, uh, I think if you really see, I think eighty percent would be compliments. It's not wow. a bad situation to be. But twenty percent, that's like percent, four star, no, that's, five that's star honestly, rating. Yeah. yeah, so we're all our brands that's are four star plus. Uh, so our ratings are never. Well, we've been lucky, uh, thanks to the team and mm-hmm. the culinary experience which we've created. Our ratings are always four point four onwards. Yeah. So whether it's yeah. uh, whether it's Farsha, whether it's uh, Tiamo, whether it is Zaws, whether it's Shades of Yam. Uh, oh my God! We've got so many brands mm-hmm. now. Yeah. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. What I've understood from our entire conversation and our chat is that obviously there are few things which are the basics. You obviously need to have the right tech, the right data, the, uh, the what do you call the, it? The uh, capital the, you need to have. Absolutely. If today someone is thinking of starting that little idea which is there in their head, if I say that okay, I want to start this little cloud kitchen. I will definitely come to you, and then Absolutely. I ask you to no, do no, that. Not only, not only that. In fact, uh, I think uh, it's very important, which we've uh, believed, or uh, I personally believe, is that I think uh, as professionals who are in this space, we need to talk to each other, right? Mm. We should be able to genuinely lend a hand and advise people who wants yeah. to start. Yeah. Because the experience. Uh, unfortunately, really. it doesn't happen. Everybody sees each other from competition. That why should I share a data? No, that's not the case with us. So, if any of uh, you know the viewers, if they ever think of. or want to open a restaurant or a cloud kitchen more than happy to welcome come talk to us we'll absolutely help them or even maybe collaborate mm. you know mm. uh, because we've gone through this journey we've learned a lot mm. we've learned a lot we've done a lot of mistakes mm. so i wouldn't want that someone else to start from start scratch because from you've scratch already done that and do those mistakes or you need to be very clear on what you're getting into yeah right very while true. while the whole idea 
sounds great, but there's lots which goes in any business. I'm not yeah. just saying cloud kitchen. Yeah. So yes, we are happy to talk to uh, uh, you know people who want to look at the space. We are happy to share data. Nice. We are a very transparent company. Uh, so that's that's the kind of culture we built within our team and you know with everybody. So we're very very happy to exchange ideas, share ideas, and genuinely even advise. In fact, there was a case about a year back where you know I helped someone to even create a business plan. Mm. You know, someone wanted to open up a cloud kitchen. Uh, so yeah, so we're we're happy, and end? I think uh, the person <laughs> decided not to do that <laughs> because see what happens is see, see so that's Even that's another him, no, no, but that's that's what it is because the yeah. learning is I'll tell you what happens is which actually so, not you know, a lot of people share that yeah. with you. They will just say yeah, 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 yeah do it, Go but you need to watch them fail. No, no, yeah. because what happens is if you really factually see, you know, we we all get excited with ideas yeah. and and it's a nice happy moment, you know, kind of thing, which is which is what the passion is, and that's how it starts. But finally. When you, when you put down everything, I've always said that when you want to start something, you know, a new new vertical, new business, you need to put in your data on a sheet, mm. right? Mm. That's when the numbers will start telling you yourself. Mm. They will start talking to you. Mm. You might have thought that you may maybe start a, a, a new cloud kitchen uh platform or a kitchen with with 50,000 real no but when you start putting in the numbers you realize I only factored in I didn't factor the cash flows I'll need yeah. I have not factored in the advertising cost I have not factored in the the, the HR cost mm. uh, so that's when the reality number starts talking yeah. to you yeah. you know yeah. so it's very important I am I I, I, I I always recommended anybody who wants to do that build your business plan first put your financial plan in on a piece of paper because then you can take decisions yeah. Because this is hard earned money, you know, whether it's yours or your stakeholders' money. Mm -hmm. So before you take a decision, it has to be a decision taken along with a passion that is important. Yeah. Okay. And That's always ask for help because people are ready Absolutely. to help. I Absolutely. learned this from Annie. Because I had a little chat with her and Annie told me that you'll be surprised to know how many people are there ready to help. But the thing is that you need to ask for it. You just need to tell them Absolutely. that this is what you are planning Absolutely. and this is how it Absolutely. is. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Fair yeah. enough. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let's yeah. go for it. What is that? Oh my Rapid God. Rapid fire. Yeah. Oh, really? You're going to have some quick questions awesome. which are going to be nice one word answers or you don't have to think basically. Huh. Huh. Just let it flow. <laughs> uh, your favorite thing on the menu? Butter chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet or savory? Savory for sure. Oh. <laughs> your go-to 12 a.m. snack? Ah. Uh, Sorry, that I have to think. <laughs> 12 a.m. I think chips. Chips? Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oman uh, chips? No, no, no. <laughs> uh, the other one, the salad chips. Oh. Oman salad chips. Okay. Salad so somewhere. Okay. okay, fair enough. One <laughs> salad thing <that> somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> one thing that you could eat for the rest of your life? I love dim sums. Huh? Momos. Where are they on the menu? Momos. Which brand oh, is that? One of the, no, no, not, that's not our brand. Ah, yes. so he's but not emotional. He's bus. actually no, tech driven. No, we're talking about yeah. truck, right? So I love, there's this Momo's place which used to be in Kurram. I used to go and regularly buy that. Okay. The, the, one the, the little corner? Small little place. Full of the wall? We used to serve one of the most brilliant. So I can live on dim sums and soup all my life. Wow, yeah. you've got to share this address with that place yeah, still I will, there? I will, in? I will. I will, okay. I, will okay. I, will. I hope so. It's there. Right? <laughs> all, for a while since we've been launching our brands, we've been just trying, but yes, so to answer, Every day I can have dim sums and soup. Okay. Okay. If not a cloud kitchen, what would you be doing? Restaurants. Or, okay. Restaurants. Traditional restaurants. That's Traditional what I've done restaurants. all my life. Yeah. And you would go back to it? Uh, yes, I will. Okay. It's in my blood. <laughs> <laughs> a food court that you truly believe in? A food court? Hmm. Okay. So this is a this is not a yes or no. This is a very interesting conversation to have if, if uh, this thing. Okay. So uh, we're also building, uh, we're moving away from, we're also building a virtual food court. Okay. Right? So today, if you see, so that's that's part of our economics initiative. So we are looking at building smart virtual food courts. So essentially, what we are doing is today, traditionally, when you go to a food court, you know, which we all love, when you're shopping, going out, and everything, or even at the airport, you know, you go to twenty different kiosks, right? Mm. So, Garim wants to have a burger. I want to have a, uh, you know, chicken. You want to have a dosa or whatever. So we all spread out and everything. So what we are doing is we're working on a platform where we want to create. Uh, uh, kind of a, uh, we want to create a, a food court which is a smart food court okay tech enabled okay right? so you can you can, you'll be able to order your food at one checkout at one place with one click 
right? So she's done have to go for other things. So typically, what happens is if you really see, otherwise her dosa is coming separately, your food is coming uh, separately, mine is coming separately. Right. So we want to bring in the dining experience back, and you're able to order nice. at one platform. Uh, so that's what we are looking at creating. So it's still work in progress. Mm. Uh, we, 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 that's going to be our uh, new avatar for the food court model. I'm so it's glad that you experience. understood. Yeah, I know that he understood Q U O T E S C O U R. And I'm so glad that he actually answered and we that they gave it. But yeah. I'll come back to that question. Yeah. I said a yeah. food court that you truly believe in and is your favorite. <laughs> so yeah, there's this famous quote by Anthony Bourdain, one of the most famous chefs. Uh, uh, love that guy. So he he had said that your body is not a temple; it's an amusement park. Enjoy the ride. So I think that's, <laughs> nice that's what it is. One. Enjoy the food, nice enjoy the one. ride. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so that's, that's I think, one of my most favorite quotes. Yeah. yeah. Forget about your no gluten, no <laughs> dairy, no nothing. Just dive into it yeah. and enjoy yeah. it, right? Enjoy the ride, yeah, absolutely. Which is absolutely. perfect for the last question. Have you tasted everything on your menu? You know, I, I it's a, funnily, you know, you were asking me the question. In fact, the other day, somebody complimented us, uh, uh, you know, I was at a social evening and somebody complimented me about one of the product or whatever, one of the items which we have in the menu. And this guy went on talking about it and he's been ordering regularly, this, that and all. I actually realized I have not, you know, and I believed I've, I've actually, because we, we have 13 restaurant brands, you know, <laughs> with 13 restaurant brands means we are talking about, mm. you know, more than... Uh, I don't know how many mm. menu items, how many yeah. this thing, but I think more or less uh, each and every product does go through me. So as much as possible, I'll say about 90% of the products, I, it has to That's go through me uh, when, when we're doing trials and everything. But also, obviously, you know, the innovations keep happening. Uh, so there's a fair amount of, uh, you know, uh, changes which happen so I not to answer your question 90% of products I would have tried that's and, that, that's, uh, but that's yeah, still 1% yeah. chance yeah. of like him I said to it's, an, it's, a, it's a ride it's an yeah. amusement <laughs> ride you know, so you keep enjoying that yeah. well with that we come to an end and close for the rapid fire but before we close I have one more question so you've travelled like you really travel extensively right and you've seen the technologies and how the developments and how everything is going about if you ever had to bring one sort of technology that you've seen outside to Oman what would that be? Yeah, so that's interesting. So like I said, you know, the, at Kitchenomics, innovation is at heart, right? And uh, uh, we're, a, we're, a, we're, a very, we're building a food tech company uh, wherein as one of the verticals, what we're currently doing is Cloud Kitchen. And mm. obviously, uh, the vision is very clear that we want to kind of look at the entire play. We want to own the entire ecosystem at mm. some point of time. And uh, uh, we want to look at uh, Cloud Kitchens, which we're building now. We want to look at uh, dark stores, right, which are uh, your grocery stores, which, okay. which are purely deliverable, this thing. So you look at uh, dark stores, we want to look at having our own uh, platform to deliver. Uh, okay. We want to look at, uh, uh, so we, we, we want to basically, over a period of next few months and years, we want to own the entire ecosystem of mm -hmm. food tech, you mm -hmm. know, not, ju not just Cloud Kitchen, while Cloud Kitchen is what we are focusing at this point of time so that's that's the whole thought on a larger as a vision uh, what uh, kitchenomics uh, is working towards but uh, immediately we are we are we are obviously we are building our own we are building our tech stack we're bringing in ai as a technology mm. we're building mm. on that uh, we, so 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 while we're building on that we're also bringing a lot of uh, consumer uh, you know uh, uh, related uh, uh, services or facilities for example uh, you're going to soon see in your neighborhood, you're going to see we bring in food uh, lockers, right? Food lockers. Yeah, so nice. these are food lockers. Uh, these are uh, typically like your how you see a PO box kind of thing. Right. So these are larger right. food yeah. boxes. So imagine you 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 live or you work in a, in a large building and, you know, every time you want to bring in food. So these food lockers will have, so food delivered into the locker. So you can come oh open up with your own QR code, this, that. They kept heated. You don't yeah. have to kind of see. Yeah. That's one Convenient. one of the things nice. we are doing about convenience. Uh, so, so, so large you know institutions large buildings mm, yeah. where there's there's a lot of people you know in that yeah. building so that's why we're looking at plugging nice. these food lockers yeah. uh, and and in, even in malls and even in uh, you know like a mm. zakir kind of thing you've ordered or you uh, you know some food you want to pick it up because what we are also seeing is as a grab and go is a massive massive mm. space in itself mm. you know which has not really been uh, professionally done you know uh, so grab and go is another play what we are looking at. Uh, so we, we've kind of, uh, you'll see, uh, you know, we, we've tied up with one of the largest uh, uh, 
retail fuel retail company in Oman uh, in order to kind of create a grab and go opportunity so that's where you will see uh, you know we're also introducing these other food lockers which is those smaller food lockers wherein you know you, you just touch your card you can take a like a, like a kiosk mm. you take your burger you take a slider you mm. take a salad you take a biryani bowl so these are the few of the things which we are doing uh, in the coming uh, in a few months so food lockers is something which will be immediately but again overall we are obviously uh, playing a large uh, tech role in terms wow. of bringing in that. I know, yeah. right? Wow. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So much to look forward to. Yeah, yeah. I know. Thank yeah. you. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much for joining us, Ankush. It was so nice. We learned. I think I look at Cloud Kitchen very differently now. There's yeah. so much that goes yeah. on in there. Yeah. And yes. thank you for sharing all that with us. No, it's been my pleasure. I absolutely loved being here. I really enjoyed ch- talking to you guys about this. And I think, yeah, look forward to seeing you guys at uh, our Kitchenomics uh, Absolutely. Yes. For now, we're going to go eat those cookies. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha